Let's mess around with dragon speech recognition by dictating with the radio on. That is exactly what all of you lovely people voted for on my last Dragon Dares poll. So that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, here's how it's going to go down. One set text, one radio station and three different volumes. To try and keep things as fair as possible, I'll be dictating the same set text each time. I will be using the same radio station and only dictating when songs are on, because adverts would be cheating. And I will be increasing the volumes by three bars every single time. So it's always increasing at the same amount. Personally, I love a bit of history. So that's the station we're going to be listening to today. Let's test Dragon out. Okay, so we're starting off at five bars of volume. Just to prove, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. You can see the bars? Let's go. Speech recognition software turns your talk into text and can make virtually any computer task easier and faster, full stop. It's three times faster than typing and can be used within third party applications, full stop. Boom! Level five, easy. Dragon smashed it, no errors at all. Okay, we're cranking it up now to volume number eight. Can you still hear me? We good? Let's do it. Speech recognition software turns your talk into text and can make virtually any computer task easier and faster, full stop. It is three times faster than typing and can be used within third party applications, full stop. We're only past level eight as well. That's awesome. Here we go. 10 bars of volume, the grand finale. Is Dragon gonna do it? Let's find out. I can't even hear myself think. <laughs> Speech recognition software turns your talk into text and can make virtually any computer task easier and faster, full stop. It is three times faster than typing and can be used within third party applications, full stop. Woo! It's only gone and bloody done it. That's incredible. Ten bars of volume. That's like a full on disco in here and it's still picking up word for word. Okay, let's summarise. That was an incredible amount of volume to put right next to me as I'm dictating. And I think that just speaks volumes to the incredible noise cancellation of the headset, the Philips Speech One. Just shows how important noise cancellation is. Because if it didn't have noise cancellation, that would have been a completely different story. I would have dreaded to see the results. In short, there were only two misrecognition errors which you will have seen on the screen. One was the fact that it, on the second try, it put tasks instead of task. Not too bad. And the other one was that it put it instead of it is. So, all in all, in the grand scheme of things, I'm well chuffed with that. I think that's pretty awesome. What do you think? Make sure you drop your thoughts in the comment section. And of course, if you want to dare me to do something else, drop that there too. Thanks for watching and coming along to this little jamming session.